My visual language is like a modern folkloric exploration of both Eastern European and Canadian art. And the bigger the wall, the more of a voice it has. My name is Ola Volo and I'm an illustrator and also a muralist. I'm from Kazakhstan and we immigrated to Vancouver when I was 10. I studied graphic design and I, I just couldn't find my voice. I kept getting asked, what kind of story are you telling with your design? It was like a, it was such an interesting moment. Like all of a sudden I realized I had so many stories that were yet untold. I have like abundance of things I can illustrate and draw and paint and, and it's never going to end because it's, it's my, it's, those are mine, you know? Growing up in Kazakhstan, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents' farms. And my grandparents would put on records and we would just listen to folk tale stories. I spent a lot of time kind of getting swept away into a different world. I wanted to revisit the characters I knew so well. That inspired me and carried me throughout my childhood, but gave them a completely different persona. This was the beginning to really redefine my visual dictionary. Patterns became a really good way to borrow and explore my, my culture and, and explore other identities also. Maybe it is an imagined sort of world that I create of Russian and Kazakh and Polish stories. And the minute I started doing the artwork on walls, it became larger than me and it started to shape spaces instantly. And also one of my favorite details over here. Yeah, like these kind of patterns, you know. Always repeating this kind of pattern is uh, very common in my work and same with this one. As I was painting this piece, I noticed how much the similarities of the scarf and the headpiece had to some of the other women that were coming by in this neighborhood. There's a big community here of Hasidic Jewish people. Sometimes the work just, you know, it takes on a different meaning depending on the space that you paint it in. So whether this piece would have been in Russia, it would mean one thing, but being in Montreal, it took on a different meaning. I'm starting to represent Canada in mural festivals. There's a couple of times where I would have people come in and they look at the artwork and they're like, oh, you're Canadian. And you're like, oh, yeah, I see that in your work. Yeah, Canadian artist. That's such a highlight because that means that we're going towards my perspective of how art should be represented in Canada as a multicultural and vibrant and it's got all kinds of stories intertwined and what comes out of all this is a very diverse scene of artists. By painting more and more walls, I feel like I'm sharing my story, but also able to bring my, my past and my present together through art.